So the other week I made this video talking about some of the things that you can do if you if you can't think of what to draw and one of the things that I mentioned was using prompts because they're really useful for generating ideas. I also asked you to leave some comments on that video and give me some prompts that I can use and I read through them and there was some great suggestions. If you want to go ahead and give me some more suggestions on this video then I'll, uh, I'll read through them and I can do another episode of this, whatever this is, uh, drawing from your prompts or whatever. But anyways, I, I read through them all and I've picked out the one that had the most likes because I'm assuming that that's what everyone wants to see and uh, it's a comment from SZ kind of a strange username but the, the prompt is a shark submarine hybrid so that's what we're going to be working with today we're going to do a drawing based on this prompt and I'll, I'll attempt to color it at the end as well let's get into this <laughs> Okay, so here I've just started sketching out the shark submarine hybrid and before I did this I had taken some time to draw out some thumbnail sketches and get an idea of what it was that I was going to be drawing here. Now I didn't really put much thought into this and that sounds quite bad saying that but uh, what I mean is I just decided to start drawing some forms in perspective and I was building them up to create what was going to be this submarine here. Now uh, this submarine needed to suggest various features that I found on a shark and so I, I did the usual thing and I looked up some images of sharks and got some reference images that I could uh, use and I decided on various features that I could easily implement into this submarine design. So things like the fins, uh, the gills and the shape of a, a shark's head, all of these things were included in this submarine which I was drawing here. And uh, I started to render the drawing in detail once I had established the perspective and the angle that I was going to be drawing this at. I was pretty much just going along with this and making the design decisions as I was drawing it which probably isn't the most efficient way to create a drawing but I wanted to get right into this and I, I didn't want to overthink too many things at the start. I was estimating a lot of the convergence here and just eyeballing the measurements. And in terms of the actual drawing, you're probably wondering why I'm not drawing this submarine underwater because that's the whole purpose of them, right? To be underwater. But I came to this decision that it would be a good idea to have um, this submarine docked up in some kind of harbour as if it was being loaded up with supplies and about to set off on some kind of journey. And uh, I don't know if this was the best decision. It would have been cool to draw something underwater looking back now, but um, and it would have been a completely different result. But I made this decision and so I was drawing things like crates, some vehicles and industrial cranes on this harbour as if it was being loaded up with the cargo and then uh, the submarine would also have some kind of access point that would come down like some kind of platform that opens up onto land and allows people to enter this submarine. And you can kind of see how different features of this submarine are reminiscent of the features that are found on a shark. And uh, I might have been a bit too literal in the way that I added these, but I wanted to make it obvious that this was influenced by the, the form and the, the character of a shark. And after all, it's a, a shark submarine hybrid. So I think that's easily noticeable. And uh, the shape of the, the front of the submarine is very much like the, the head of a shark. And it, it makes it appear a lot more streamlined, especially in comparison to the rest of it. Um, like the rest of it is just a combination of all these shapes and levels, which I had just drawn uh, some basic forms that are drawn in perspective there. And uh, I, I did intend on coloring this, which you'll see in a second. And so I kept that in mind as I was drawing it. And uh, I tried to make the lines more obvious along with the texture that I was adding. A lot of you will know that I'm slowly exploring this process of colouring the drawings which I create. Um, I'm still trying to figure out the best way for the drawing, the actual pencil drawing, to translate over into Photoshop and then be coloured. So I'm trying to uh, sort of darken the outlines around the things in the drawing and then in terms of the texture I try and keep that the same. But you also might notice that I don't really do a lot of shading now um, because I tend to represent the darker areas and the shadows in the actual colouring stage. I just use darker colours to do that and uh, because I lay the colour over the pencil work when we get into Photoshop it means that the, uh, the darker pencil work underneath the actual colour also makes that colour darker if that makes sense. You'll see in a second when we throw this into Photoshop but yeah I try and keep the uh, shading kind of neutral uh, which makes the drawing look a bit flat but then um, once it's coloured and that it, it tends to look a bit better. So now let's throw this into Photoshop. 
Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and I'm uh, new to colouring my drawings and I, I could do to study colour more and learn a bit about the theories and the techniques surrounding it. But I just started to uh, lay down this green base colour and then just work into this with some colours that I thought would suit this drawing. And I wanted to give it that military feel and so these colours are very reminiscent of the colours that are related to that sort of stuff. And uh, I'm laying the colour over the pencil work here and the texture of the pencil is still there and so I don't think I'm losing that hand drawn effect. I think this is a, a style that I really want to explore more and it's something that I'll likely do more often. Um, a lot of you have said that I should try actually drawing in ink because obviously when you throw the ink in Photoshop and you apply layer effects in Photoshop and colour it that way, the ink is a lot bolder and it makes it stand out a lot more. But I'm trying to find a way or find a process that works well with the pencil drawings because I, I prefer drawing with pencil a lot more and I want to keep my style there along with the colour as well. So I'm st starting to evolve it a bit more but I still want to keep the hand-drawn pencil work there um, and then I can just colour it digitally. And a lot of you have even said to use uh, normal colours, some coloured pencils, but I don't know, I kind of like just to keep things clean and uh, keep uh, working with this digitally because it opens up a lot more um, ways of actually working. So yeah, let's. Uh, in terms of the actual drawing, this had taken about three hours to create because um, I was making a lot of the decisions and I was making up a lot of stuff as I went along with it. And uh, this colouring part had taken about two hours. So yeah, I don't think it came out too bad. I was quite happy with how this turned out considering I was just kind of winging it um, throughout the actual process of drawing this but uh, I hope you enjoyed it as well and this was done from one of the prompts that you gave me so go ahead and comment on this video and give me some more and I can always do uh, some more of these videos but yeah that wraps up this drawing. So there we go everyone, that is a shark submarine hybrid and that was drawn from one of your prompts. If you want to leave some more suggestions in the comments down below, I'll read through them and I can always do another episode of this if it's something that you want to see. If you did enjoy the video then please give it a like and subscribe with notifications on to stay up to date. I'll link the second channel, the Patreon page, the store uh, and all the social media stuff in the description down below. But yeah, that's pretty much everything so thank you for watching. It was something a bit different and uh yeah i'll see you in the next one